Ever wondered how to make an authentic Italian pizza at home? Well, the secret starts with the perfect dough. The foundation of every great pizza, the dough is where it all begins. We're using double zero flour, a staple in Italian kitchens. Its fine texture gives us a crispy yet airy crust that's truly unbeatable. To start we combine our flour with water, yeast and a dash of salt. The magic really starts to happen when we begin kneading. This process develops the gluten, giving our dough its elasticity and strength. It's a workout for sure, but about 10 minutes of kneading will get us there. Once our dough is smooth and stretchy it's time to let it rest. This resting period allows the yeast to ferment, creating that delicious flavor we all love in pizza crust. Now, while our dough is resting, it's the perfect time to create our classic Italian sauce. The heart of any pizza is its sauce, and for an authentic Italian pizza, we need a simple yet flavorful tomato sauce. The ingredients are straightforward. Ripe tomatoes for that fresh tangy taste, a touch of garlic for a bit of kick, fragrant basil leaves for that unmistakable Italian flavor, and a good quality olive oil to bring it all together. Now, the cooking process is just as important as the ingredients. It's essential to let the sauce simmer slowly, allowing the flavors to meld together beautifully. This isn't a time to rush. Let the sauce cook gently on a low heat, stirring occasionally to prevent it from sticking to the pot. Remember, simplicity is the essence of Italian cooking. We're not looking for an overly complex or heavy sauce. Instead, we're aiming for a light, fresh, and vibrant tomato sauce that will complement our pizza perfectly. With our sauce simmering, we can now turn our attention to the toppings. When it comes to toppings on an Italian pizza, remember the golden rule, less is more. Authentic Italian pizzas aren't smothered in heaps of ingredients. Instead, they highlight the essential flavors that, when combined, create a taste that's simply unforgettable. Let's start with the classic margarita pizza. Fresh mozzarella is a must, providing a creamy and slightly tangy contrast to our robust tomato sauce. A few leaves of fresh basil lend a peppery sweetness, while a drizzle of olive oil adds a rich fruity depth. But remember, the order in which you add your toppings is just as important. Begin with your mozzarella, evenly scattering it across the dough, then sprinkle on your fresh basil leaves. A final flourish of olive oil right before baking ensures that all the flavors meld together beautifully in the heat of the oven. Now that our toppings are ready, it's time to roll out our dough and assemble our pizza. Rolling out your dough is a delicate process, but don't worry, it's simple once you get the hang of it. Start by dusting your surface with a bit of flour to prevent sticking. Then, take your rested dough and begin to gently stretch it out. The aim here is to maintain those lovely air pockets that we worked so hard to create during the kneading process. Once your dough is rolled out to your desired thickness, it's time to assemble. Start by spreading a thin layer of our classic tomato sauce, leaving a small border for the crust. Next, sprinkle on a generous helping of your fresh mozzarella cheese. Finally, add your toppings. Remember, in true Italian style, less is more. A few basil leaves and a drizzle of olive oil is all you need. Our pizza is assembled and looking delicious. Now it's time for the final step, baking. Baking your pizza is the final step in our journey, and it's all about the heat. In the world of pizza, heat is your best friend. A hot oven as close to 500 degrees Fahrenheit as possible is the secret to that perfect crispy crust. If you've got a pizza stone, now's the time to use it. It simulates the searing heat of a traditional Italian brick oven, giving your pizza that authentic char and crunch. As for timing, Keep an eye on your masterpiece. It only takes a few minutes for the cheese to bubble and the crust to reach golden perfection. Remember, every oven is unique so your baking time may vary slightly. And just like that, you've crafted an authentic Italian pizza right in your own kitchen. A testament to the simplicity and elegance of Italian cuisine and the magic of baking. Now, it's time to slice, serve, and savor. Buon appetito!